So in the beginning, you're trying to figure out a way to manipulate things so maybe things go your way. So as a result of that, you may be taking some courses or classes that teaching you how to manifest your own reality, how to manipulate life so things go your way. And so then you could be happy. So keep this thing right on the focal, focal point of your attention, is that ultimately you want to be happy. That's the ultimate. You may just come and tell me, well, I really want world peace. Well, I really want the world to be in harmony and I'm fighting for that. Well, why do you want world peace? What does world peace do for you? Because it makes you happy. It makes you feel like you got what you wanted. So just keep things very simple on the spiritual path and always come back to the point. What is the point is you. You want to be happy. That's what you want. And in some ways, we'll do whatever we have to do to get it. So, now, I'm bringing this up because I want to, A, be clear about this part, that that's the main goal of every, every spiritual seeker. The words freedom, silence, the ultimate oneness, they all sounds great. They're wonderful. But I would keep it simple. We keep it at one point. You want to be happy. And that's not like you're asking for a lot. I mean, it's not something wrong asking to be happy. I want to be happy too. Everybody wants to be happy. What is my definition of happiness? Maybe someone gets happy by killing other people. Maybe that's how they get happy. Maybe someone gets happy by raping people. Maybe somebody gets happy by helping people. Maybe someone defines happiness by writing books or accomplishing things or inventing things uh, or just being a mom or being a dad. Uh, you know, everybody's way and per perception of happiness is different. What's happiness to me may not be happiness to the person next to me, but ultimately that's what we want. All right, so now what does this have to do with 5D quantum awareness? The 5D quantum awareness, what I'm referring to and how it brings you happiness is by an expansion of opening from being super focused on one single thing, which is me, to opening up, expanding my mind and recognizing that I'm not just limited, my existence, is not simply limited to one person, to one unit. It's more than that. And in this expansion, as I'm working on myself or for some reason I'm starting to realize life and realize things with the right training, right guidance, then you begin to tap into a greater part of yourself, an expanded part of yourself. Could you be more than what you think you are? Is it possible? Am I only limited to this? Am I, could I be more than just this body, this mind with these desires, with the story of this life I have? Am I just this? Or could I, is it possible, 
that I'm more than that. And in this question, that I'm questioning it and I'm examining it and I'm starting to expand because I'm looking at a greater part, a bigger part of myself, more than what it seems to be. And I'm open to it. So I'm opening up, expanding, looking, being available. In this availability, things start to happen. I'm starting to recognize that, wait a minute, there is an energy field. There is something that I'm tabbing into. There is some sort of order in existence. Things are not chaotic. Things are not just happening based on accident, but something. There is an intelligence, something which is of value here, something powerful. And then my attention starts to go to it. You want to call it God. You want to call it intelligence, spirit. Something is here. Something's thinking. Something's operating. Something's very careful. Have you ever thought that what powers planet Earth to rotate around itself? What powers it? How does that happen? What makes planet Earth turn around itself? Where does it get its power? Where is the source of it? And what makes it go around the sun? How does this happen? What power is that? And what power is these other planets to turn around themselves? And turning around the sun and none of them collide with each other or one of them stop turning around itself. Well, who's doing this? Who's in control of this? What makes you fall asleep at night and what makes you wake up in the morning? What intelligence is there that is operating all these systems in your body when you're asleep? You're certainly not in control of them at any moment. You're not in control of your nervous system. You're not in control of your digestion. You're not in control of your hormones. So what's operating these things? How is this happening? There has to be an intelligence here, something which knows something which is aware, something is beyond my understanding because I'm so focused on my own affairs. You know, we're so focused and tied up into this being, this person and my needs. All day long, I'm trying to satisfy my needs. And I understand if you have kids, then you are also serving your children or your partner. 